Hello class. In previous lesson, I showed you how to create a character animation with the controllers. And then we bake the animation to the skeleton. And then we bring all of the animation clips together into one file. And export the animation into FBX file. Now we'll bring our character model into Unity 3D and use it as a character control. To bring your model into Unity 3D, um, copy the character model, the FBX file, and the texture files at the same time, um, so you don't have to manually link your model with the texture. And again, with the normal map, uh, by default it has an issue to weight it, so you're just a click um, fix, right? So now in my model section, I should see um, final. This is the character model, and we can bring it into the scene. Okay, bring it forward a little bit. And now let's preview. So as you can see, the character is a little bit small, but we can fix that. Um, and as you know, my character have animation, but now it just stay in its initial pose. So we have to set the animation to the character. Let me show you how to do that. To set the animation, you need to know the frame range. And I made this document as a reference. So walk cycle animation is from frame 1 to 34. Run cycle is from 40 to 55. And I can use it as a reference. OK, so select so like this character model. OK, go to his animation tab and hit play. OK, as so you can see, the animation is here. By default, it shows the dress. Okay, that I created for a model. Uh, we'll get back to that later, but right now let's just focus on the animation for the main body. Okay, so scroll down. And here you all have the animated custom pop. Okay, by default, it has the animation clip that plays the entire timeline. And the entire timeline, I have 190 frames. So what you'll do is click on this button to add an animation cycle. And you can play name here. So first one is walk. Once you're done, hit return key, click on clap range, and you can put star frame from frame one and end frame as 34. So check on loop. And then make sure you do apply. So basically we created a walk cycle animation clip, and this clip it will play from frame 1 to frame 34. That is the walk cycle. And we can add a second one, 40 to 55, which is long. And clap range, 40 to 55. Make sure you loop and apply. And repeat this process and create the animation technique for the rest of the three. OK, so now I finished adding all the animation cycles. Here are the frames, and here's frames here. And I'll go back here, assets, and create a new folder. And I'll rename it as enemy control. Okay, so in the anim animation control, here I will do create a new and a new animation controller. Okay, for this one, I'll say character A because later on we'll import other characters. So this one, character A, um, and control. So this is the character control for character A. And we can double click on open. So this will open the animator tab. We were in the scene tab earlier. And when we previewed the game, we were in the game tab. And now we are in the animator tab. So by default, we have the entry stage. We have the exit stage. So for any animation clips you would like your character to play, you will add in the center. Okay, so um, I will go to the folder, which is model folder, and so I get the final, which is the character. Clicking on this arrow folder under this uh, model, you will find the animation clips we have created. Okay, for example, if I want this character to constantly play uh the the idle animation so i can just drop the idle animation clip here this tells the program that when the game is in awake um 
the animation will start from the idle and then I can right click and make a transition to exit so it'll go into this animation player and play the idle animation and then it will exit and since we set as play and loop so it'll go back again play idle and exit back again play and so now we'll go back to the scene and select our model make sure you select the uh, root folder instead of select the individual joint or uh, the individual meshes. Select the root folder and as you can see here we have a animator tab by default right if you don't see it you can just go to add component and animator okay so you can add that manually okay so here by default in the animator window the controller is should set as empty okay and remember the animation character we just created so you can just drag it and apply it onto the controller for it all right so now if i play you'll see that our character is constantly play the idle animation okay let me exit so basically the animation controller is more like a player it depends on what animation you would like your character to play right? and if you don't want the um, idle animation you can just go back to this stage and select it and delete okay so to add other animations you'll have to go back to your model okay this model and find the animation clips you have created earlier for example this time I would like to apply jump I would like it constantly to apply the jump animation here we go so you will constantly play okay so uh, let's make the animation a little bit more complex so go back to the animator tab so now let's just select this uh, jump animation and delete what if you want the character to stay in idle pose for the first about like uh, five or six seconds and then uh, we want to jump jump for two times and then run and walk and stay back in idle pose so we can bring idle animation here okay and we can select it and hit command D to make a duplication command D duplicate that again and duplicate both of them twice so this will tell the program that when you start the game play the idle animation and then I can edit repeat the idle animation and repeat again and repeat again and repeat for the fifth time and then um, we can edit to go to uh, the jump so after the fifth idle animation well let the character to jump and jump for the second time okay and then run just for one time okay and then walk okay and then run we'll at the animation to exit so once it exit it will re-enter and go back to idle okay so this is the um, animation I would like to create so now if I play you should see that the character will play idle animation five times and then it will jump twice first time second time and it'll run and walk and go back to idle okay so now it will play uh, this sequence in loop okay basically you can use this technique to create a very complex animation see if um, this character is just um, the secondary character or just the enemy or someone you would like to place in the stage for example just a citizen in the city or a farmer uh, you want the character to constantly play animation sequence so you can go back to the animation stage and organize the animation piece the way you want